All right. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a pentagon in 3D. So to be able to do this, you should know how to construct a pentagon. If you don't know it, go back to my previous videos. Right. Now, isometric, everything is based in a 30 degree angle will. So I can't just construct this drawing 2D in a 3D world. I need to construct an auxiliary view. An auxiliary view is a view that I can see the true shape. Right. Now, I've indicated point A and I've given the point A on my 30 degree axis on the isometric. So, if we take this drawing, it's supposed to lie down like this with A on the bottom right hand side. So, this is actually quite easy. You just have to remember, I can only draw vertical, horizontal and vertical lines in 3D space. This is not a true straight line, it's an angled line. So that's why we need to construct an auxiliary view. And because our pentagon hasn't, we haven't got the dimensions for it. Okay, so what we're going to do is put that drawing in a block. Tangent lines that fit perfectly. All right. Tangent lines that fit perfectly. So once I've got that, I've actually got a block that I can put into 3D. Right? So I know point A is here. So point A will be here. So this entire view that will go on this side. That view, let's call it Y, will go on this side. Y. So X will be from this side and Y from the other side. All I'm going to do is take the measurement from A to here and I'm going to put it down there to get my block. Right. Then from A there to get the view on my right hand side. Now everything based in isometric, if I need to get the back corner I just have to extend those same lines at a 30 degree angle. So there's my block and we can go and test it. Right, we can go say, all right, the front section, which is this, should be the same at the back. The lines are parallel. Okay, so I've got the same block here. Now, it's easy as just measuring out of the block. I'm going to take the dimension from, just adjust this a little bit. From A to corner 1, that distance, place it A corner 1. That distance, right, inwards. Okay, now I need my back corner, so I'm going to measure from A, my right shoulder of my pentagon there to there and just duplicate it here that should be exactly the same duplicate it there and then finally my point in the middle there we go so if I number this one two three four and five Point A is here, so that'll be my point one, two, three, four, and five. Connect all your numbers, all your points. There's your pentagon in 3D space. Right, so if you want to add depth to it or height to it, let's say I want to add 20 millimeters thickness to it, all you've got to do is your isometric block 
the one where it fits into. Measure that 20 millimeters. Okay. And now I'm just going to duplicate my isometric block upwards on all the sides. Take it in at the back. Take it in on the side to the back. And they should meet up perfectly. Yeah. Right. All I do now is I lift that point up to it reaches the block. That point up, up, connect. some of the lines to indicate that it is a hidden detail, something that I cannot see, the drawing should make more sense. Alright, so just back to the basics. If you have to draw an odd shape in 3D space, first thing that you have to do is you have to create an auxiliary view, okay, a standard two-dimensional view onto scale. Right, that you're going to place inside a block. So once you've got that block, you can place that block in 3D space. Right, and then you measure from out of your, out your block from the corners inwards to there. You can even draw an ellipse or any rounded shape. You can place it in a block, place that block in 3D space, and just measure from that. Right, good luck and enjoy.